Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here, Real Beautiful Biddy. Going to do a product review for you here today on a product here that I have used for probably about two years now at least. So this is one of my Holy Grail products, product that I repurchase over and over, a product that I always go back to, and a product that I really like. So I'd like to share and recommend this product to you. Okay, so this is the Out of Africa brand, and I really do love their products. Now, however, with I always say with any other product line, there are some certain products within a product line that are no good and that you don't like and would not repurchase. However, this is not one of them. This is one of the Holy Grail products in my Holy Grail arsenal of beauty goodies. Okay, <clears throat> so let's get started. This is the Out of Africa. This is unscented organic shea butter and it says non-parfume that means it has no fragrance obviously and I love these 10 jars that it comes in and this is a two fluid ounce 10 jar Let's see if I can show what it looks like if I can get the lid off one-handed try 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 okay let me show you what it looks like here let's get to it okay so yeah it's kind of messy looking it's kind of gouged looking and you can see I've been dipping my finger in this okay but I love this product this works fantastic and I tell you what I love to use this product for if you have um, extremely dry patches of skin if you have dry elbows or if you have dry patches of skin on your face um, I have dry sensitive skin typically as is now, I tend to get a somewhat of a tiny dry patch between my, it's so odd, between my eyes, <clears throat> between my eyes at the top bridge of my nose, between my eyes. And it took me a long time to determine what this is. Um, I think my issue is from oversized plastic designer sunglasses. Um, I possibly get some type of allergic reaction maybe to the plastic they use in sunglasses. And where the big plastic piece rests right between your eyes, I tend to get like a dry patch. Um, sometimes even a little bit of discoloration. It's, it's very odd, especially during the summertime when I wear a lot of oversized designer sunshade sunglasses. I tend to have that problem uh, more during the summer. It's so odd. But anyways, I love to apply this product on that dry patchy spot on my face. I love to use it on my elbows, my knees, the bottom of my feet. And another uh, use that I love to use this product for is for small surgical scars. I think it works fantastic. It absolutely fades out if you have small surgical scars or if you have large surgical scars for that matter. This product works fantastic in softening the skin, moisturizing the skin, and fading those scars. Or I would highly recommend, um, now I don't really ever get acne and I don't have any acne scarring, but what I do recommend if you have acne scarring on your face or any other part of your body, for acne scars, this would probably work fantastic because like I said, it moisturizes, it hydrates, and it fades small marks and scars. So this would be fantastic. Like if you have, um, I have several friends that have acne issues with their, with their cheeks and their lower jawline. Um, so I would recommend this product to them to, you know, dip your finger, make sure your hands are clean because I'm a clean freak, a clean nut. It's okay. Do it for me. Do this for real beautiful beauty. Make sure your hands are clean. Scrub your hands. Scrub under your fingernails or anything like that. Dip your hand in here. Dip your finger in here and you can apply it with your finger if you like. But make sure your hands are clean because you don't want to get any contamination or cross-contamination in jars. I am just such a stickler with that. Anyways, so work great on acne scars. I would highly recommend that. Uh, for that purpose. Also, uh, myself, I am a um, certified electrologist uh, for hair removal, and sometimes with uh, hair removal using the traditional method of probes, uniprobes, uh, needles, that method, sometimes that leaves some minor scarring, especially in the facial area. So I'd highly recommend that for electrolysis scars. Also, I would also recommend this um, after you do laser treatments on your skin, hair, re hair removal, hair reduction, because you know I am the queen of hair reduction out here. Yeah, okay. So I would recommend at, at night putting this on, you know, your face or wherever you, wherever you have done or had done laser hair reduction removal. And uh, it would just soften, soothe, soothe, and hydrate the skin. Or if you even have razor burn from uh, too close of a shave or anything like that, I would recommend this for razor burn. It's just a multi-usage, multi-functioning product. And I do highly recommend it. And like I said, it's part of my holy grail arsenal of beauty goodies. Because you know I'm a product junkie. 
So this is one I always repurchase. So I highly recommend the Out of Africa Organic Shea Butter. Take care now. Bye.